Do you like love stories? If not, I think you'll really like this one. Why don't we start at the beginning, shall we? 2010. Remember this place? It's where we met. We were only friends back then, though. I remember we always talked to each other about our relationships. Maybe one more than the other. We were best friends. March 26, 2017. Remember this table? We hadn't seen each other in a few years. I still can't believe I was able to catch you before you had to head back home. Turned out to be the best coffee I've ever had. And this is where everything changed for me, when we had to say goodbye. I mean, it was just coffee, but I didn't want it to end. It was as if everything became clear to me. Was that corny? Eh, I don't care. June 3rd, 2017. I remember thinking, today is the day. Today's the day I'm going to finally make my move. No more friend zone stuff. I sang you some songs in the back of my truck. We had some pizza and watched the sunset. It was amazing. But I was so nervous. I mean, what? No, I wasn't. It wasn't a big thing, girl. Yeah, I was. August 5th, 2017. You're probably thinking, what? Why was this day so special? I mean, sure, it wasn't our wedding day, but it was the day I knew I loved you. You were so beautiful that day, babe. And I knew one day I would make you my wife. November 12th, 2017. Remember this place? It's where we first said I love you. That's me. That was you. I mean, we were on opposite sides, but it's okay. It's one of the best days of my life. Look at us. Hashtag adorbs. November 13th, 2017. To today. We've had so many new experiences these last couple of years, babe. Experiences I wouldn't want to have with anyone else. There's so many things I love about you. But what do I love most? Hmm, maybe we can start with the people that care a lot about you. It's hard for me to pinpoint just one thing that I love most about you. I mean, obviously, besides the fact that you're my blood sister, so I'm kind of forced to love you. Um, outside of that, I would say that there are so many reasons why I love you overall. And a simple, quick answer is just the person that you are. In my lifetime, you've served as someone that I've always looked up to, a mentor in my life when I was growing up, and a second mother figure, and now you're my best friend. Someone who I can laugh with, cry with, fight with, confide in, and um, kind of walk through this crazy life together. So I'm so, so grateful for your presence in my life, that God blessed me with a sister like you, and I'm so excited for this new season of life that, um, you get to walk through, but also that I get to stand by your side and watch you walk through it too. I love you so much. What do I love most about Bethany? Um, I love that she is such a giver um, and always puts others before herself. I can't possibly even count how many times she's shown up for me again and again. I love her so, so, so much. The one thing I love most about Bethany is her undying commitment to the one she loves in her life. Love you, sis. You're one of the funniest people I've ever met. Thanks for being genuine. If I had to pick one thing I love the most about Bethany, um, I know it's kind of cheating, but she's just good. She's a good person, a good human with a good heart, and I know that covers a lot of bases, but it's true. We love Bethany because she's reliable. And trustworthy. Love you. 
One of the best things about Bethany that I love is her openness to adventure, to life, and to just spending time with people and hearing their stories. Um, she has a very open mind to things and experience, and that's pretty cool. What I love most about Bethany is that she is the kind of friend who loves to offer words of encouragement and motivate her friends and others around her. But I can't forget the fact that I love that she can really get down on the dance floor. My favorite thing about Bethany is definitely her heart. Um, she has a big heart for her community, for her friends, for her family, and when you meet her, it's very apparent how much love she has to give and how much love she has to share. Um, and I absolutely adore that about her. Well, what do I love most about Bethany? Hmm. I think the thing I admire most about her is just the general compassion she has for the people close to her. And I notice that especially whenever she and Austin aren't together, though. There's a genuine form of love and just generosity and care that it really is apparent from the two of them, especially when they are close to those that they really care about, whether it's friends, family, house church, whatever it may be though, she always seems to have that same level of compassion and care that I think is really missing today here, especially in the world we live in right now. And I really pray that that stays with her. Gosh, what do I love most about Bethany? Well, I have to say I can't limit that to one thing, Bethany. I love your compassion for others. I love your knowledge, your energy. But what I treasure the most is your love for God and your love for our son. Thank you. Wow, what do I love the most about Bethany? There's a lot I love about you, Bethany. Um, I love you because you love my boy, and as a mama, that means everything to me, and um, I'm trying not to get emotional here, but it, it just comes from my heart, honey, and I love you for your big, sweet heart, your tender heart, a heart that's always giving. God says, too much that is given, much is expected. Well, he's given you a lot of talents, Bethany. And I see you and Austin doing great things in the future, and I love you to bits. And I'm so Come excited to me. Hi, con gái. Hi, con gái. Keep me. Ba mẹ nhớ con nhiều. Thương con nhiều. Con nhiều. Okay. Love you. Come ba mẹ nhớ con. Mấy mốt lấy chồng là đừng quên mẹ nha. <laughs> Ba rất thương anh Đào vì anh Đào không bao giờ cãi lại ba điều gì hết. I love you. What do I love most about you, Bethany? Where do I start? Do I have to stick to one thing? Nah, I think I'm just gonna let it flow. I've been thinking about Bethany and Nguyen, I love your heart for God and his people. I love your intelligence and your constant striving for progress. It makes me want to be a better man. I love your hunger for adventure. Never in my wildest dreams did I think we were going to go to Southeast Asia anytime soon. But we did. It was amazing. I'm so ready to go back. Maybe after this corona thing clears up. Can we state the obvious about how beautiful you are? I mean, come on! I love your passion for food. Even though it's not great for my waistline. Oh, look at that yoke. You're such a catch, babe. <laughs> Get it? Hashtag terrified. I love your passion for fitness, babe. You gotta get those booty gains. Well, that laugh, babe, <laughs> that laugh is what I live for. <laughs> can we talk about these dance moves? I mean, dang, girl, you can move. <laughs> Thanks, Ariana Grande. I could go on and on about you, babe, and all the good times that we've had. Honestly, I'm even more excited about what the future will bring. I love you, Bethany and Nguyen. 
Remember me before you hey everybody, how's it going? Ooh, all of you are looking real good tonight, Bethany, gorgeous as usual. Hey, by the way, do you mind uh, coming outside real quick? Alright, cool. I'll see you soon, babe. Love you.